What is up guys? Welcome to the stream. Sorry I'm late as hell. I'm like 11 minutes late, <clears throat> but we're still here and we are ready to take on Alabama and I just got done eating dinner at the same time. Whoa, that is intense. All right. Jacob, Chris, what's up my dudes? Uh, we are ready to kick some tail. We are ready to kick some Alabama tail. But first, let's get some recruiting out of the way. Um, Cause I know that's kind of important. It is super important. Um, I have no idea how South Alabama just did that. Looks like we gotta go all out on that guy. All right, so what's going on, everybody? Woo! What up, Scott? What up, Arios Mapping? Crush! It's time to crush the tide, man. It's time to crush the tide. Let's go to 400 points here. Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. We need to upgrade the offensive line, so we're gonna get him th uh, these guys up there, especially. South, yeah, South Alabama though. Like, are they okay? Um, would like to have this wide receiver. Would like to have this guard. But I think the guard is more important, so we're gonna go switch it around. Oof. Offensive linemen are so hard to get. They really are. They're like, like even this guy, I could probably take down to like 500 points just to get an advantage. Oh yeah, a bunch of 80s on the board. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get him. There's a lot of 70s on the board. Hmm. See, that's the tricky part <clears throat> when trying to figure out what you need, what your needs are. And look at my team needs eleven. Punter, fullback. I'm not really in need of a punter. If you're in a need of a punter, I mean your team's already kind of good. No scholarships. Uh, oh, what? I have an 80 overall guy who's not even a. S oh, yeah, because he's not first overall. Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. Like, do I need these guys? Not necessarily. Do I need this quarterback? Probably. Uh, probably not, actually. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, hmm. I don't even think I'll need this guy. Like, I don't even. I don't even think I need him because I know I could get something else that's just as good. Um, because fullbacks, you know, they're a very arbitrary position. So, well, you don't. They're not a very used, uh, very much used position. Um, so you could get like a, I don't know, a, a good '60s fullback, <clears throat> and still be fine. Um, no scholarships. Cubs game's delayed. Oh, again, not surprised. Do I need a center? Yes. Do I need a cornerback? Yes. Team needs... Hmm, a kicker. Number eight kicker in the country, though. Fullback is a very fun position. I just don't know if I need it or not. That's the problem.
Yeah, I'm not going to catch up to him anytime soon, though. <clears throat> He's got pretty big offers. And they're all from local schools, so I'm pretty sure the kid, the, the guy's going to stay home. Um, hmm. It's hard to tell. It really is. So, I think we're good right now. I think we're going to stick with what we got right now. As far as points go. Um, top 25. Oh, Dane Jones. Do I not need to spend points on him? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I already offered him a scholarship, so if he doesn't take it, then oh well. Kind of, I'm kind of fighting over the local kid. He kind of wants to stay close to home, from what it looks like. Number four athlete. Can this guy play defense? No. This guy's either a running back or a wide receiver. <clears throat> mm, not scouted. Who have I not scouted? Eh? This strong safety though is pretty nice. I'm gonna go after him a little bit more. I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive in the search for him. I think I could get him. All right, top 25. Top 25. Uh, we have UAB at number one, LSU at number two. They dropped through a three-star school. Wow. Texas at number three. Miami at number four, Penn State five, USC number six, Mississippi State number seven, number eight is Notre Dame, number nine, Navy, number 10, Florida, number 11 is Ohio State, number 12 is Michigan State. I play Road to Glory with a quarterback named Vince Young. Vince Young, I play as the Vanderbilt Commodores. 10 and 0 in, uh, conf 7 and 0 in conference play, not bad. Uh, number 13, Virginia. Number 14, Alabama. Number 15, Virginia Tech. Number 16, Clemson. Number 17, Tennessee. Number 18, UCLA. Number 19, Cincinnati. Number 20 is Michigan. Number 21 is San Diego State. San Diego, or Stanford, number 22. Number 23, Oregon. Number 24, Oklahoma. Number 25, BYU. No one dropped out. <clears throat> Has to be expected. Tulsa, Illinois, Northern Illinois is in the, nearing the top 25, nearing Ole Miss, Arkansas State. Interesting top 25, though. It's, well, not that interesting. These teams, like, teams like Florida and, you know, well, I guess the only team that's really surprising in there is Virginia. Cincinnati as well, same with San Diego State. But not outside of your, out of your really crazy top 25. Um, Heisman watch. Aaron Hardy still third in the Heisman race. We'll see how that lasts. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, Arkansas State's receiving votes in the top twenty-five. I still find it hilarious that I'm still number one throughout the whole process. You have a max coach. Dang. I, I don't know where I'm at at the coaching skill tree. I'm getting really close to being maxed out. Um, conference standings, I don't think those are really important right now. Especially since I'm an independent. Who did I put in the SEC to replace me? Oh yeah, BYU, even though they're technically not in the SEC. Well, that should be interesting. Team Legend. 
You're the talk of the town. All right, who's ready to take on Alabama? I know I am. Alabama's going down. It's going down tonight. They're going to lose. Like, hardcore. Hardcore L's coming their way. Hardcore L. L. I like that! Yes, I do. I like that, too. That is awesome. Let's do it. Nothing changes about the Alabama uniforms, though. Ever. It's going down. It's time to hand Alabama the L. See that L in Alabama? It just means loss. Hmm, should I go green pants? Mm, sure, why not? <sighs> we about to run up. I'm going to run up the score on them, too. I don't even care. I'm running up the score on these fools. And if y'all are asking, yes, this is a pizza. I did. I, I was like, I noticed I'm like 20 minutes before my stream. I'm like, I haven't even eaten dinner yet, so let me just throw this pizza in the oven real quick, and just feast on it while I'm eat on stream. Mmm. Wait, let, let me get the W time. We eating W's. Oh my God. No. Glad to have you with us in the studio. You cannot have a bite. Where's my? We eating W's tonight. Um, um, um. We eating W's. The Blazers look like a team you'd expect to be a number one team in the country. Very good at every position, but it's. I gotta do it right. Doesn't mean they're a finished product. Microwave. Gotta get an impressive win to maintain that top spot. We eat in W's. NCAA football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbert. Alabama's about to kick this L though. Like low key. Actually not even low key. That's high key. What am I talking about? Alabama's hold this L all day. They're about to get this ass kicked. Enjoy everything. I'm eating my own hands. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta look up Jameis Winston. That's the joke. Jameis Winston uh, was out the pregame speech against the Saints, and he was like, You see this? This is a W. We gonna eat that W. Ah. All right, here we go. If it seems like I'm a little bit more focused this game, it's because I'm playing Alabama. I have a personal vendetta against Alabama. Like, real talk. Delicious. Oh, good game. Good game. Brad, this guy had a huge year last year, but look at him now. I think he even looks bigger than he did a year ago. Look for him to have a huge year. From their own 27 yard line. Second down. Watch for cover three. In between the tackles, first down. To about the 36. Hardy's got the weight of the team on his shoulders right now after the way he performed last season, Kirk. And I'm telling you, the season he had a year ago, it really makes expectations. Dude, I don't care if I run the ball like 100 times a game. If it's effective, it's going to work. That's another good game right there. I like that. I like that! <laughs> it's, see, it's working. Like I said, I don't care how many times I have to run the ball. Anything to slow this Alabama team down? 
anything to slow this Alabama team down. Look at that. Look at that strong left side right there. Okay. Well, we might have to pass on third down. That's fine, though. Press L to pay your respects towards Alabama for taking their L. Oh, get stepped. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Ben Smith. Woo! He kind of reminds me of Danny Amendola or like a, a healthy Danny Amendola or a Julian Edelman. He has that, that, that type of game. He kind of reminds me of a Julian Edelman. And Julian Edelman's one heck of a football player. There we go. Running the ball could not be more of a beautiful thing when it run, when it works. Wes Welker. Okay, I could see that too. You know that that short, speedy guy that goes on the outside and is very super productive. Ooh, look at Jermaine McAfee. Ooh. Nice. Let's game on, bro. And this play is number eight on the drive. This crowd don't scare me, man. Oh, that's a, that's first down. Tackle the seven yard line. I thought if Kenny would have had the speed, he would have gotten six. situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Kenny has Kenny has speed, but he doesn't have like he doesn't. I don't think he has like Michael Vick speed. Oh, but that's a touchdown. Oh, that was t that's too easy. That is too easy. Too easy. Where are you at, Alabama? Ran right down your throats. You can't touch me. Your one, your run defense is garbage. Oh, hello, dog. My neighbor's dog is barking. I have no idea why. In another game, the Wolverines, Wolverines Ooh, Michigan barely escaped. Woo! They are capable of moving much higher. And for Michigan, their season starts with a win. Evans has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. See, this is how cool we are, man. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Price is the guy everyone... We're going to play defense with our shades on. Kirk, and he comes with a lot of expectations. Time will only tell if he's the new hope or if he's all hype. We about to do this. If I get a stop wearing my sunglasses, I swear to God. <laughs> I probably will. Alabama's offense is garbage. Okay. What up, Beefcake? Oh, yeah. It seemed like... It didn't seem like that long ago when UAB shut down their football program. And then the first year they come back, they go, like... I think they went like eight and four and with a bowl appearance. It's pretty amazing. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. So I'm gonna get a stop with these shades on though, for real. Quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the deep. Bama ain't winning. Bama ain't winning. They ain't winning. Oh, look at that play. Andre Thompson ain't going nowhere, buddy. Ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. I kind of see through their bluff, too. They like to run uh, a lot of short routes. We'll see how that pans out for them. Oh, look at that. There's nothing there. Incomplete pass. You're lucky it's not intercepted. You're lucky. 643 passing yards. That is insane. Wait, wasn't there like a quarterback, like real life, like 
quarterback that had like almost 700 passing yards in a game. Steps up. Oh, get nailed. Oh, we made a stop. We made a stop with the shades. Oh, yeah. Both. Well, Kenny Wright will. I think uh, Wesley Thompson needs one more year before he does anything. Real talk, though. I think Wesley Thompson would like a full year of starting before he goes pro. Although I think they have a both. They're both like first round draft picks. Oh, you're not gonna, I'm not going to get anything. Eight yards. Really got the telling you, Alabama's get that butt kick today. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. They are not winning. Tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. They are about to hold the finest of L's. I have not touched Fortnite. I'm more of a PUBG guy. I love PUBG. Oh, oh, he totally sniffed. He totally sniffed out the run right there. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26 yard line. Yo, left side. There's a strike complete. There's Give me that first down. Open field tackle. I don't even need to pass the ball, really. Oh, look at that run! That is just gorgeous! You can't stop me! I could just run this ball all day. I could just run this ball all day. They are not stopping me. Block, 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 block. Oh, perfect. Tries to get around the corner. There we go. Solid game. Nine carries, 52 yards in the first quarter. Is this Hardy's last year? I think so. Let me check that. I think this is either his junior or senior year. Oh, yeah, he's a senior. Yeah, this is his last year. Jermaine McAfee, 97 overall. Jason Henley, 95 overall. Ugh. Excuse me. We got a couple of good running backs coming in the in the in the wings. Would not be surprised if all three of them just went pro. Wanted to go pro. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hmm. UAB is up by a touchdown. Whoa! Nice. Way to cut back through that gap. Throw the pass to a fullback. Dude, I'll th next pass I do, if I'm ever in a situation where I need to pass the ball again, I will throw a pass to the fullback. I will throw the ball to TJ Marshall, and he'll probably score a touchdown. Because that's what TJ Marshall does. Oh, look at that! <laughs> draw play. I usually never run draw plays, but that was perfectly executed. Got what I wanted out of it. Got exactly what I wanted out of it. Oh, they're blitzing. Oh, there you go, Jermaine. First down. <sighs> I've only passed twice, mind you. Only twice. I don't need to pass the ball a whole lot against this team. I could just... Not Slow the game down at my pace. Number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Blazers lead 7 0. 100 yards in a game with a fullback? That's not even bad. Oh, hi. You ran, you read me. You read me like a book. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle.
We're at play number nine of this current drive. Oh my god. Hey, it's almost like you're trying to read my offense. Oh, beautiful pass. Oh, is that a touchdown? Oh, that's a touchdown. Wow, what a pass. What a catch and what a great effort. All day. Threw that in a tight window, man. That was sick. They line up to kick this I tried to, I wanted to get it to the fullback, but then I read the defense and I'm like, I can't do that. I know he was supposed to get that, but it's almost like I had to change the play to make sure I didn't like get look like I get got predicted again to try and on the run because I could tell that they were in a run defense. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter. They were so in a run defense, and I didn't want to take that risk of, oh, do I really want to throw, run the ball again when I know it's when I know that kind of play is coming? Here's a draw. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. <laughs> so it's almost like, yeah, do I really want to test that? I don't think so, man. But I get, I, I know you're just messing around. What up? Throw up the X. Throw up the X. Are you Des Bryant? Oh, get down! You can't do that. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Look at my defensive lineman right there. He just kind of sniffs. I sniff it out with the defensive lineman. Oh, I, I like running the two quarterback system. It throws every. It, throw, it makes everything kind of fun. Oh, they got a first. Okay. I thought they were gonna run like four verts or something. My DB got absolutely burned. Yeah, I gotta try and find another scrambling quarterback though in the shot out of the shotgun. That's the thing. I think I could get one. I know. I think I have another one actually. Oh, look at David Wright making plays. This guy's a legend. This guy's a UAB legend. Didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. <laughs> That's <is> Bryant. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, man. <laughs> Throw up the X. Oh, get down! Get down! Get sacked! You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. Dude, Roddy White went to UAB. Get out of the pocket. You didn't know that? I know uh, UAB had Joe Webb, and I, I know Roddy White was another one. I know those are the two that I know off the top of my head. I can't remember anybody else. Joe Webb was like a starting quarterback for the Vikings for like two or three starts back in like 2010. And they got the first on third and 16. Are you kidding me? This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really That's ridiculous. better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. We didn't have anybody try and collapse on him either. That's that's the worst part. Got an Get down, boy. Get down. Get down. Not today. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Get down. He tried, he's trying to come out here and break tackles. Ain't happening, bro. Oh, a fumble! <laughs> time to put the shades back on, bro. It's time. Hold up. It's time. It's time, man. It's time. We about to throw the shades on. Throw the shades up and go 12-0. Uh, and 0. Throw on the shades and go 12-0. and 0. <laughs> When do you plan on stopping this dynasty? When, when I get bored. Uh-oh. Oh, good run right there. 
Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. Time to put it's time to put the shades back on, man. I'm hosting a shutout. Shades come off when the shutout ends. Which it might end soon. I don't know. I don't know when this is that actually is gonna happen. Oh look at that. Get your ankles busted. He kept it himself and picked Top Gun, right? <laughs> nah. Great execution and a good decision I just like these styles, man. I like the style of Shades, bro. I like uh, I like the Aviator style. Shades stay on till the shutout ends. I kind of... I don't know if I was going for the Top Gun look, but if people want to go for that, I'll, I'll, I'll play along. <laughs> Down now. Fumble Ruski! Indeed. Second and four. Up, oh, up. Oh. We got a block. We got some running room. And we got a first down. No one can stop this team. No one can stop this team. We are just too good on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Gets out to about the 12 yard line. See, I'm just running clock. I don't care if I kick a field goal here. It's second and nine. Ball on the 12 yard line. Ah, oh, see, they're stopping us now. McAfee only got a yard. He's usually the guy who's like. Remember, like, Tiki Barber and Ron Dane? Hey, what's up, Greg? It kind of reminds me of that combo back in the day. Like, Tiki Barber is the, the is like Aaron Hardy. The, he's the Lightning, and Jermaine McAfee is the Thunder, aka Ron Dane. Did you play football in high school? In what positions? I played strong safety. Over the middle. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm stopping at the one. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm totally doing that on purpose. Because. Is it time? It's time. It's time, bro. It's time. Let's do it. It's time. They come out in a goal line set. TJ Marshall! Touchdown! Blazers! We're blazing it up, baby! So it's the big hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive line. You never get any recognition. And he adds the extra point. We're blazing it up. 21 zip. Alabama is going down tonight. I dude, I was we were gonna do um I was gonna do my alma mater for uh for my next dynasty. Minnesota State. And yes, that's a real college. It's division two. I learned a lot about division two sports in my time there actually. It was I feel like it's in a, in a sense, it's more fun to watch than Division I because they have a playoff system in college football there. And I'm like, this is how it should be in Division I FBS. But it's not because they're stupid. TJ Marshall, future fifth-round draft pick. I like that! <laughs> yes, I do. Everybody's, that's a thing around here, too. Every We got to do the Kirk Cousins. I, you like that! All right, so we're up 21 nothing to start the second half. Can we keep the shutout, though? That would be cool. That means the shade's got to stay on the entire stream, though. And it's going to be weird put Minnesota State in the Big Ten. You know, I, after a few seasons, well, I could, actually. I would probably have to start them out in the Mountain West, though. Because it's not like they're like a Sun Belt Conference, because that's kind of like a 
Well, I don't know. It's actually kind of a good question. The Sun Belt's kind of weird, like that. I don't know how where I'd place them, actually. Oh, right side. You're you're going down, kid. Oh, yummy. Get down. Wait. This just in. South Alabama's upsetting number two LSU. Where are you at LSU? Did you leave your game back in Baton Rouge? From their own 27 yard line. It's second down. Baton Rouge. Oh, I overread that. Oh, pff, what did I do? Why is he breaking these tackles? I mean, if Minnesota State was to go in Division One FBS, that would probably be the Big Ten, if they're good enough, of course, because they don't want to, they don't want to waste all that money just to get their asses kicked every week. Come on, buddy. Where's your screen pass? Oh crap. Now we're now we're trying this out. Now we're gonna try this. Oh man. Oh man. My mic. Oh, my headset came undone. Oh man. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, they're running fullback. Oh, we gotta send the blitz. They're running. If they pass, I swear. Oh, get down. Only a yard for you, buddy. That's why the recruit's going to South Alabama. <laughs> Yo, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Uh-oh. Are you running another screen pass? No. But you're making bad choices, that's for sure. Although, how you got six yards on that play, I will never know. Oh, they're running fullback again. Tennessee and USC are in a close game. Oh, shoot. Oh, they got me good there. Ooh, that was that was sneaky good. Alabama's only got six first downs, and they this is I think this is their first time in field goal range. Uh oh, I think we might have to take the shades off soon, guys. Shades gotta come off. When was the last time I lost in this dynasty? Year three. I think the shades are coming off soon, though. Shutouts in danger, man. We gotta get a turnover. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That's for, that's some cheese. That is some cheese. That is grade A Swiss cheese. Look at that! Look at that grade A Swiss cheese. That is some bullshit. Oh my god. That is some bullshit. Dude, you're one of the UAB dynasty. I was I was I was ass. That team barely made it. They won a, they were bowl eligible, but they did not make it to a bowl game. I was so mad. Oh, here we go. Best revenge right here. Here we go. Now it's real. Now it's going to get real in here. Aaron Hardy. Aaron Hardy's about to go off in the second half. Oh, yeah, that was booty. <laughs> that is grade A Swiss cheese. That, that, that kind of scoring right there. Oh. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Oh, here we go. Nice carry right there. Beautiful. Give me that first, baby. Aaron Hardy all day. Like I said, I don't even need to pass the ball. 
There's no need. Oh God. Where was the where was the blocking on that play? Now I feel like I have to pass. Just so I can get at least a decent third down. <clears throat> Hashtag grade A Swiss cheese. Oh, beautiful. Oh, give it first down. There we go. Jacob Ingram, baby. Oh yeah, that was definitely a full-on blitz. You could tell. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that nice juicy yardage. Forget and never forgive. This is true. This is why I have such a huge vendetta when I face Alabama in this game. What's good, your boy DCK? Your boy DCK. What up, DCK? We're just kicking Alabama's behind right here. Oh, get off of me! Oh, oh, did you see Aaron Hardy just lay that dude out? Good night! Good night! Don't let the bed bugs bite! Oh, hi there. I just got molly -whopped. the 12-yard line. <laughs> Get trucked. <laughs> Yo, that, that's, that's definitely got to be shown. Right there. I like that! <laughs> oh, cut back. First down and goal. Hardy for Heisman. I like that, too. I like that. Uh, what class is Aaron Hardy? He is a senior. This is the last year of Aaron Hardy. Kenny Wright! Oh! Not quite. No, a lot of people miss college football. Is it time again? Are we going to bring it out? Is it time? Is it time? You know what's about to happen. Get out of this dude's way! It's a touchdown! <laughs> Get out of TJ Marshall's way! Get that dude the Heisman! In Madden 18, that would have been a fumble. Yo, you're not wrong, man. Madden 18 is so bad. They grow up so fast. They do. In 10 years of doing this dynasty, I I still miss Justin Kelly. Who who here has been watching through since Justin Kelly? My backup to Aaron Hardy is Jermaine McAfee. He's number 28. Uh, then I have Jason Henley as my third string. They're both juniors, so they're both going to be seniors next year. You can't mess with TJ Marshall, bro. Get that dude the Heisman. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game. I have, yeah, actually, I think I have three 95 fullback or running backs. Oh, hi there. Dude, Justin Kelly, though. Justin Kelly was the GOAT. He was the GOAT of UAB. Like, he is a, le he is a living legend in Birmingham. First down. Like they might as well, they might as well resurrect a real statue of Justin Kelly because he just brought relevance to this team. Oh! <laughs> Yo, Justin Kelly is a living legend. Number seven, Justin Kelly. No one should ever wear that number in UAB history ever again. Just letting you know. Oh, get down. You're lucky that wasn't intercepted. You're lucky you got the block. Now he's a bungle. Now he's a bungle. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. All right, three quarters down, 28 7. The Blazers lead. 
28-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. One more quarter. And then the victory shall be ours. Are they really running another? Are they really running another? Oh, they should not do that. Oh, no, they should not do that. That is a pick six. It didn't work last time. What makes you think it's going to work again? Bro. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> he makes the PAT. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Greater? I have not. Oh, I'm not going to Atlanta. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna pull off in Atlanta. I'm better than that. I'm up 35-7, man. I ain't choking. I ain't choking this away. Blazers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possession. It's kind of hard to get a sack. It's kind of hard to get a sack if, uh, you know, I'm running the ball literally every time. Oh. All right, here we go. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own thirty-eight. About to do it again. Oh, he gets down. Not today. Not today. Yo, Alabama's holding the finest L today. They're about to get dropped from the top twenty-five. Oh my god! Ah! What up, Ethan? I should have had that interception! I read that! He turned around! Been here since 2015. I think that's when actually I began this dynasty. Back in like 2015. Don't do it again. Oh, get. Get. Now. Ike, you gotta catch the ball. Of course, Alabama's getting destroyed. Dude, I've been owning Alabama since, like, forever. I think the, the first time I faced Alabama in this dynasty, I only lost by three. And I think that was in year two of the dynasty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this go, actually. Yeah. That's going in the end zone. And this will be a touchback. Throwing in the end zone. Both teams are playing out the of course, side. Alabama's going to get destroyed. Experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. UAB in control. And they get nice Five yard gain every time. Aaron Hardy's just a beast. That brings up second and five. Ooh, as much as I want to run that setup play. Second and five. Ball on the 25. Oh, look at that run. NCAA 19, maybe. Maybe. Nice option play here by the offense. Running took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. Thompson comes in at quarterback. I've seen now. Actually, Alabama didn't even have a winning season in this dynasty two years ago. I think they went four and eight. They didn't even have a winning record two seasons ago. And I don't think they they went six and six the next year. So there was like two years right in a row where they didn't even make the top twenty-five. Block, 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 block. Oh, oh my God! If Jacob Ingram would have hold, held that block, I would have scored a touchdown. Yo, my day was pretty good, man. Tomorrow's going to be better. I'm not going to be streaming this weekend, though, because... Oh, Alabama will drop out of the top 25 as soon as Nick Saban retires. Um, my day has gone pretty good, though. I'm, going to, I'm not streaming this weekend because I'm going to be in Chicago 
uh, participating in a few events, some personal events, including playing some uh, slow pitch softball. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And I will not be back until, like I'm gonna be streaming again on Monday, that's for sure. But I will not be streaming this weekend because I will be in Chicago. Oh, McAfee cuts it back against the grain. Oh my God. Dude, slow pitch softball is actually kind of fun. It's actually a little bit like some people were like, oh, you can just hit home runs all the time. It's not as easy as it looks. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Like, that's my first impression when I played slow pitch softball. I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to kill everything. And then I play it, and I'm just like, oh, this is not as easy as it looks. And so I had to perfect that craft. That was fun. Dude, ah, should I pass this play? I should. Just so I can keep the ball in my hands. Yeah, I've been playing slow pitch softball for the past uh, about seven years. I've gotten pretty good at, you know, making solid contact with the ball, too. My swing into the game has been really good. Oh, hi there. You almost intercepted that pass. What up, Caleb? Dude, you're, you're missing the big molly whopping of uh, Alabama right now. They're getting absolutely just manhandled. Kick the field goal, and I'm up 38-7. to Oh. Thirty-eight-seven lead with minute forty-eight to go. And they can forget about returning this one. This game's gone super fast too. It's because I've been playing like ultra conservative. I don't expect any once in a lifetime. Like I have not been passing the ball a whole lot. That was, I think that was my first incomplete pass of the day, right there. Oh, how did he? Oh, how did he get that? Yo, Just a Rose fan, thank you for the five dollar donation, my dude. You've been hand, handing me that uh, like every time I stream, and I could not be more appreciative. Thank you so much. There's a sponsor button. Like you should totally check that out if you want to be a sponsor of the channel. If you watch this on YouTube Gaming, that is like make sure you click the ga YouTube Gaming link because that's also like one of the big things that's kind of important. Because you can get you could get uh, be a sponsor. You could uh, get like super chat. You could be exclusive to super chat. Because I have super chat in this. Because I have like over ten thousand. It's what I get for being over ten thousand subscribers. Oh, thank God I made that stop. Not that it really matters at this point, but like, why are they running the ball is beyond me. Where's the sponsor button? If you watch it on YouTube Gaming, there should be a little sponsor button right below where I'm at. So make sure you watch us on YouTube Gaming for the simple fact that there's a sponsor button. And I think it costs like $5. Intercept it next time. Ah! Oh. Dang! I hate dropped interceptions. That is like the biggest pet peeve. Who does UAB play next week? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know it's another ranked team. That's for sure. I think it's Texas.
Yo, we gotta come up with those interceptions. Oh, get body, dude. You ain't going anywhere. Here's the eighth play of the series. Ooh. Can we hold him to seven? Oh, dang it! I couldn't hold him under 10. That's BS. I thought I had to tackle. <sighs> now they're going to go for the onside kick. Now, see, now they're just making me want to rub it in. Why isn't Koala up there? Onside kick incoming. You know what? This is just going to make me rub it in a little bit. This is going to make me pour the salt on the wound. Oh no! <laughs> no way! Oh my god, were well, you serious with that? What? <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Wow! <laughs> oh, touchdown. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. Time to pour salt on the wound for Alabama. Screw these guys. <laughs> that was hilarious. Because it doesn't meet qualifications. Oh my god. You guys are... Y'all yeah, are crazy. Kick six. Ready to kick this one off. Dude, onside kick six. They tried an onside kick and I almost took that to the house. Like, just imagine if I would have gotten that. Like, um, if I would have gotten the edge. Oh my god, that would have been so funny. Do you think Red Iron Champions over come out? I don't know, man. I heard it's really good, but there, it takes a lot of time to develop a game like that. Get down. This game's over. This game is over. And just like that, the Alabama season has gone down the toilets. I don't know if you heard the toilet in the background, but that is that is the Alabama season right there, going down the toilet. That was so corny, it was from Iowa. What up, Gucci? We just defeated Alabama 45 to 14. Alabama could not hang with us at all. They got mollywopped. By 2020? Yeah, it's about a couple years away. Bama lost again. Of course they did. They lost to us again because they suck. All right. So now I'm going to be right back. I got to throw this pizza stuff away. Because I don't want food crumbs all over my desk. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm back, yo. We here. Yeah, I can play one more game. I'm totally down for that. I just got to do it in a separate stream. But it'll be like, I'll end stream, change the thumbnail, and then I'll be right back at it. Uh, game stats. I got to show my face again. That'd be lovely. Did you tell the stream of what we talk about on Discord? I did uh, not, but I, I've been super busy today. It's been crazy, man. I literally, as soon as I got home, I was like, crap, I got to make dinner, and I got to be on this stream. So it was like the, one of the last things on my mind, because I'm like, okay, my passing, I didn't even get 100 yards passing. Not even 100 yards passing, man. I went, I went six for seven for 89 yards, two touchdown passes from Wesley Thompson. Rushing totals, 26 carries, 139 yards. 
Six carries, 40 yards. Six carries, 59 yards. Two carries, four yards. Uh, ben Smith, three catches, 44 yards. Uh, three, two catches for 32. One catch for 13. Uh, interceptions goes to Scott Frazier. He got it for a pick six. How many sacks did we get? Frank Dobbs got Frank Dobbs got two sacks. Scott or Steve Evans made a forty-one yarder, uh, six for six on extra points. Dude, that onside kick was hilarious. Um, James Wilson, not the greatest quarterback day. Now, 14 for 20, 131, one interception, no touchdowns. Kind of pathetic. The the sophomore running back here, though, um, Taylor West, got a pretty good game out of it. Um, 11 carries, 65 yards. Not bad. This performance isn't bad at all. So, we'll, you know, Alabama didn't play too hot. Oof. They didn't even get a sack or an interception against us because we ran the ball so many times. It was almost like... Uh, see, I like playing the defensive possessions, though. That's the thing. I love the defensive possessions. I like showing off my defense. Total team stats. They only had 12 first downs. Only 12. Uh, 225 yards of total offense. Not even 100 yards rushing. Man, this that was just that was pathetic. If you're Alabama, if you're an Alabama fan watching this, you're kind of like, damn, we that was that was ugly. That was ugly. 431 yards of total off uh, total yards. Um, hmm. Yeah, they had more passing yards than us, and we still outgained them by over 100 yards. We had 40 carries as a team for 242 yards. That's just insane. That just shows you how good we are at running the football. I remember, I remember when I first started this Dynasty 2, and they are like, Oh my God, Sin, all you do is pass. All you do is run four verts. All you do is this. All you do is that. And then I come out in this game and I just run it down their throats. Oh, Eastern Michigan got beat by FCS Northwest. Ouch. That's not good. That's a resume killer. Fresno State almost experienced the same fate. Arkansas loses to Florida 37-34. to That's an upset. LSU's going to drop in the rankings. They barely beat South Alabama, man. I don't know how you stay in the top... I don't even know how you stay top five after that. Yep, we're taking on Texas. Ooh, no more national championships against these guys. I've had them... I've had to face them in the national championship for... How many years in a row now? I think it's time for a change, man. I think it's time for a change. It's time for a change. Hold up. Oop. I just made that worse. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, that was just a beatdown, man. That was ugly. Alright, here we go. Number three Texas. Number three Texas. The Golden State of college football. 
that's a fair assumption. It's really not fair anymore. Like, I've completely dominated the college football's grand scheme of things. Ooh, they kind of took over my punter. That's not cool. I think I played Texas four straight years. Three or four. I think he, um... Are they predicting to be to lose to Texas? Yes. They obviously did not watch the Alabama game last week. Or the three the past three national championship games. Anyway, I will be back in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna end stream for about 15 minutes. This gives me time to, you know, fix what I, whatever I need to fix up. Um, you know, I need to actually get ready to pack up. I need to start at least a little bit of packing to go to Chicago this weekend. So um, I'm going to do that. I'll be back in like 15 minutes, and I will start this game against Texas. Sound good? All right? Good. I will see you guys in 15 minutes, and be good. Don't do anything. Don't do drugs. Don't do anything dumb. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. See you in 15.